your turn on YouTube, welcome back to a brand new GE5 video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the best AFK RP exploit in GE5 Online. This is the best solo method to get an RP, it works really well for beginners but if you guys are just wanting to get your levels up this is the best method you guys can use this week before Thursday as that's when the weekly update ends and starts up a new one. Anyway, to start off this guys all you guys want to do is go ahead and start in story mode. Now this is not, this is optional as you guys can just do a sister dame, but all you guys want to do is pull up your settings and all you guys want to do is change your targeting mode over to free aim. Now this is because normal normal RP will be getting is 75, but this boosts it up to 95, which means we're going to be get, getting like double, like not double the amount, but a little bit more X, um, X, uh, RP um, whilst doing this method. And then from there you guys can just go ahead and load into it invite only or close friend session. This is completely solo, no friends involved, and it does work on our platforms, it is not a glitch, it's just a method, um, so you guys cannot get banned for it, but it works amazingly. Um, big shout out and credit to Gravesite Gaming, um, he provided me with this um, video, um, I watched it, go check out his channel, link will be in the description down below, um, credit him for the idea, um, and obviously the uh, um, best RP method. This is proven to be better than Peter Griffin, he's set it out and many people have tested it out as well, so instead of going AFK all night long and risking your... Um, console over here and you guys can just go ahead and do this method for a few hours and level up absolutely insanely this works absolutely amazing for beginners as well anyway once you guys have spawned in your online session all you guys want to do is get out of the vehicle you guys are going to be using um, for this now you guys can use you guys could use tanks and um, oppressors but for me I'm going to be using my Toreador Toreador is because it is like it gives you unlimited missiles they will never ever run out it is stored in your Kasatka, so it is 3.6 million. If you guys do not have 3.6 million, you guys could grind for the money, or you guys could use duplication glitches on YouTube. Um, I have uploaded them in the past, but I do no longer do loads of glitches as my copyright strike. That will be in a, a video um, later on this week, explaining my channel, channel update. But anyway, once you guys are in your vehicle, you guys can see it's got missiles and they are unlimited. Okay, so you guys can use tanks, etc. But I recommend using uh, Torridor as it is a prior unlimited missile. Okay, anyway, once you guys are in your vehicle, all you guys want to do is pause your game, go to online, jobs, play a job, Rockstar created, and go down to where it says missions. And you guys are going to be scrolling up to where it says the triple money and RP missions. Here we go, and you guys are going to be starting up the mission called Repo RV, nearly there, triple money and RP. All you guys want to do is go ahead and start up this job. Okay. If you guys spawn in with randomers, go ahead and leave and start it up again. But you guys can do this with a friend, but I recommend it solo as it is a solo RP exploit and it works absolutely amazingly. Once you guys are in the job, make sure you guys flick the difficulty to hard so you guys get double the amount of XP. And then confirm settings and go ahead and launch the job on your own. Alright guys, so once you guys spawn in, you guys will be spawning outside of Simeon's... Um, dealership and all you guys want to do is from here you guys want to make your way over to the brickade which is located unfortunately in sandy shore so you guys have to drive a bit of a way but with the torridor boost where you guys can get there insanely fast this is a really effective and efficient vehicle so i recommend buying it and using it for the solo rp exploit so i'll see you in a few minutes okay so once you guys have traveled from los santos all the way over to sandy shores where you guys need to be all you guys want to need is you guys want to take your torridor around the back of the brickade so follow my route here you're going to go behind here squeeze your way through this little place here and you guys just want to park it just right here okay and once you guys are here you want to get out the torridor and you guys want to run over to these stacks of wood and you guys want to pull out your shotgun and then you guys are just going to take out this guy who's chilling right down here so right near boop and then you guys want to get inside of the brickade just like this and then you guys want to get and then you guys want to get straight out just like this okay wait a few seconds and then get out of the brickade and then run all the way around the back, just around here, jump on these cars, jump in the container, and then just jump down. And then you guys want to get back in the Torridor. Once you guys are in the Torridor, all you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and go over to the uh, airport, Sandy Shores Airport, which is actually just behind it, just around a block away. You guys can just go ahead and boost over there. Okay? Now this is on hard mode, so we are going to get a mark uh, RP. And all you guys want to do is once you guys are at the airfield, you want to go to the far hand, far hand side, just here. And you guys want to just face straight down the airline and then enemies will start to spawn um, and you guys can just go ahead and lock onto them and spam your missiles okay and as you guys can see I'm getting 94 RP every single time and these enemies are continuously spawning out of the no out of nowhere now after a while your XP will start to actually go down um, that is because you've reached the uh, limit um, I think it's around 150 kills it goes down 
Uh, I'm not quite sure, but it does go down after a little, after a little while. Um, so that's just a warn you about that. Um, but um, obviously, once it starts pa um, stopping, you guys can there's an actual method. You guys can do a rinse and repeat. All you guys need to do is once you guys have finished getting your um, all, all of your RP, all you guys do is go ahead and get a sticky bomb, and then you guys then go over to the um, actual brigade itself. And all you guys do is you guys once you have the brigade, you guys put a sticky bomb on the brigade and just blow it up, okay? And that will fail the mission. Okay, and once you guys fail the mission, you just go ahead and restart it, and then you guys can come to the exact same location, park the Torridor behind the brigade, get inside of it, get out, and then drive over to the airfield and just farm the RP, okay? As you guys can see, I'm getting absolutely loads. Now, I'm not doing it the best way, seeing as though I am actually getting shot, and you guys can take damage. However, I am doing it stupidly because I stopped still, and then they're coming, they're coming from all over the place, but I can just turn around and absolutely destroy them with missiles, all right? So I really hope you enjoyed today's video, it is not a glitch, it is a method, like an exploit uh, RP farming method, it works really well for beginners, um, but I do recommend having the Torridor as it has unlimited missiles, um, but you guys can obviously use different vehicles of your choice, but I do recommend the Torridor. Anyway guys, I really hope this video was helpful, if it was, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification as well. I appreciate you all, have a great day, um, I'm in people once again, and I'm out, peace.